welcome to another video and I need to go to the gym shortly but before I do that I'm going to take a few minutes to talk to you about what is undoubtedly the most important weapon in any powerlifter's armory. That's right. Biceps. Biceps. Jokes, they're completely irrelevant. Let's face it, they serve no purpose for any powerlifter. However, they're awesome, and anyone that goes to the gym wants to have bigger biceps. Now, I get asked all the time, how big are my arms? I'll be honest, I don't know, because I never measure them, because I think it's quite weird to measure your arms. However, I think I've done it once, like ages ago, but I genuinely cannot remember what they were. And so, um, for your entertainment, and more importantly, my own interest, I'm gonna measure them live right now. Although it's not live for you, because you're watching after the event, it's live for me. So I'm gonna measure them live for me. Uh, right now little disclaimer. I have not been training so they're not pumped. This is just like regular resting size um, Let's see what happens. Ah, oh, right tape measure which is integral to any measuring process Unless of course you can measure things really well with your brain which I can for example I can tell you that coaster is exactly 3.87 inches across but uh, for the benefit of the Non-believers, I'm going to use an actual tape measure. Um, here we go. I'm going to contract my bicep. I assume that's how you do it because otherwise it's going to look small. Um, I practiced a minute ago. I'm going to come around here, try and find like the biggest point, which I think is like here. And I'm going to really commit to it. Mm. <laughs> I'm going to cramp. Mm. I can't get my stupid finger on this, okay. Okay, <clears throat> there you go, that'll do. Right, yeah! That is, as you can hopefully see, if I can get a focus on this. Come on. Come on. 18 and a half inches. Woo! Right, now we've established I have probably the biggest arms in Europe, let's talk about how you guys can get bigger arms, bigger biceps yourself, and maybe one day be more like me. Now, I'm going to split this into three parts, I'm going to try and keep it nice and quick and concise, so here we go. Number one is your frequency, so how often you train biceps. I would advise that you train biceps three times per week. Number two is your volume, so how much uh, bicep stuff you do. I'm going to say per those three sessions, you want to do two exercises. Now within those two exercises, I would recommend three to four sets. So that means uh, six to eight bicep sets per session, and that's three times a week. And number three is your exercises, or more importantly, varying your exercises, or more importantly than that, varying the angle at which your humerus sits when you're doing your curls. So your upper arm, not always having it fixed to your size. Don't always just stand there and do dumbbell curls like this. Vary it. So sometimes you're going to have your arm up in front of you, so maybe do some preacher curls, and sometimes you're going to have your arm behind you, so maybe on like a, an incline bench with your arm dropped down here doing dumbbell curls. It's really important you vary the angle of uh, shoulder flexion or extension because it targets the bicep in a more kind of rounded whole way. And that, my friends, is that. So I hope that was helpful. I need to go train now. Ironically, I'm not doing any biceps at all. I'm going to do a uh, bench and then shoulders, I think. Uh, so I'll go and do that, and I'll catch up with you afterwards. training and I am freaking boiling. As you can see how sweaty I am, I'm perspiring quite a lot. Uh, the last few days have been insanely hot 
and I said in the last video, the gym is like the least air conditioned place in the world. It's like being in a cupboard. Um, training was okay, touch and go bench press still is better than last week, but it still doesn't feel quite right. I feel like I haven't, I'm trying to slow it down because I feel like I lose control, I lose like the tightness otherwise, but in slowing it down, it's almost like making it a pause bench. So I'm trying to find that uh, medium, but it is getting better. Uh, overhead dumbbell press was annoying because it didn't go up from last week, it stayed the same, so that's the first time any of my hypertrophy stuff has not increased in the previous week, which is irritating, but my shoulders suck, so let's just write it off. Um, other stuff was good, that all felt fine, um, and now I've just realised I'm incredibly hungry. So, before we start prepping for dinner, I'm going to get a snack, and this is what I'm going to have. This was left over from last night, you didn't have time to eat it, and it's really good, it's like a... Uh, um, like a cheesy garlic bread thing, and it's freaking massive, and it will be calorific. So, I'm quite stale, um, but I'm gonna eat that, uh, and then I'll go and get says, and then we'll start prepping for dinner. Right, the stale garlic bread is done. It was delicious. Um, but now we need to move on to some dinner prep because says is back. And we are struggling because it's towards the end of the week and our fridge is pretty much derelict. However, uh, it says we went to Sainsbury's, or as I call it, Sainzo's, on the way back. Uh, and this is what we're going to have. So we've got some macaroni, which I haven't had for ages. And it's awesome. Macaroni is just like better than pasta. It's just pasta, but it's just in a cool shape and it makes it better. Um, some cheese, uh, some bacon, some cut up sausage bits, and then some creme fraiche. We're going to have like a macaroni cheese and then with bacon and uh, bacon and sausages in it. So it's gonna be like a meaty, cheesy, pastry fest. Let's go. Um, that, my friends, looks pretty bloody incredible. Um, so that is cauliflower and cheese and bacon and sausage macaroni. Uh, we also, I say we, I mean I, went a bit mental and put way too much macaroni on. And so we also have another one here, and then another one in there, and another one in there, uh, which is a lot of food. But the plan is basically, because the baby is not that far away, we're going to have like loads of meals good to go, freeze them, and then when the baby comes we just never have to cook. And by the time we have to start cooking again, the baby will be old enough to cook meals for us. Ipso facto, no more cooking for us. Is that the plan? Yeah. Sweet. Okay, um, I'm going to serve this bad boy up and then eat it. Okay, so that, uh, guys, in case you're unaware, is my dinner, and it looks unreal on a plate, mm -hmm. in a plate, beg your pardon, on a plate uh, format, and that is a wound that I self-inflicted, not in a menacing way, but it was accidental, softball-based injury, don't worry about it, don't ask any questions. Ask no questions, hear no lies. Um, I'm gonna wait this in a second, before I do that, I'm gonna explain this drinks lineup. So this, start from this end, is my surface cleanser, um, I don't drink that because I don't want to die, but I do drink this massive thing of water which I did explain in the video I put up on Tuesday, the other day, the no steroid one, about the importance of drinking during a bulk uh, when it's hot so that you don't get uh, inconsistent weigh-ins. Uh, orange juice, family size, because I'm big. Uh, fizzy water which says drinks because she's a fizzy water nympho, and then some coconut water which uh, Sarah's likes to drink. I mean, she doesn't know this, but I actually replaced the contents of this with my warm saliva and she didn't, she didn't tell the difference because it is exactly the same. So that tells you everything you need to know about that. Uh, I'm going to try this. I haven't tried it yet. I hope it's good. If it's not good, I'll be disappointed because I'm really, really hungry. It looks very hot. My first impression is that it's going to burn my mouth. Let's find out. <coughs> I've hoped might as well. Okay, that is ridiculously good. There's all like bacon in there. So we've got bacon, we had some leftover sausages, so we whack those in there. I put a lot of cheese in because my logic is you don't ever eat food and say, oh, there's too much cheese in this. So I figure you can't really go wrong there. And then there's breadcrumbs on top. 
uh, cauliflower in it for the micros. I am excited. Woo, that was intense. I'm not talking about the plural for a uh, thing you would camp in because quite frankly, eating macaroni whilst camping would be ludicrous. Um, I mean, it was intense in the sense that it took freaking ages to eat and I ate bloody loads, but it was incredible and it was worth it. It would have been very calorific because it had loads of cheese and creme fraiche and pasta and bacon and sausages, which are all equally calorific items. Uh, but uh, yeah, I got it done um, and what an experience that was for everyone except for the spoon that I used because obviously that was repeatedly getting put in my mouth. I guess the stool because I had my buttocks on it for like half an hour and then I guess the floor because obviously the force from the stool was getting transferred into the floor. So apart from those three items, I think everyone else had a pretty uh, good time. Anyway, uh, it's late. I definitely need to shower yet because I haven't showered. I saw uh, on I saw Brian T, Brian Turner, Humorous Fitness, the other day, saying about how he um, washes his face after he trains. I should definitely get on that because what I've noticed is that, well, no, what I do, I've been doing this for years, is that I'll train, come home, and do stuff, and it sometimes won't shower for like two, three, four hours after training. And obviously now, where it's super hot and I'm sweating out like so much, that cannot be good for my skin. So maybe I'll get into some kind of like cleansing routine post training. But let's face it, I probably won't. Um, anyway, I'm up here now. I came up to the office to uh, reply to some client emails. Turns out my laptop's downstairs, so that's annoying. But um, I've got a decaf coffee there. Oh, sorry, is that in the? Is that in your way? Sorry, awkward. Um, I've got a banana, and then I've got one of these bad boys, which is like a, a special K, like random cereal bar that I found in the cupboard. I'm really, really full up, uh, but I'm gonna force myself to eat this stuff because just to get some extra cows. Uh, this has probably got about three calories in, to be fair, but they're actually quite nice. And like I said, it's pretty much the first thing I saw when I opened the cupboard, so I took it. Um, and that, my friends, is pretty much that. I'm gonna have this, like I said, get my laptop, reply to some emails, and then shower and hit the sack. Um, I don't mean go to bed, I mean literally get a sack and hit it. I've got a sack that is really irritating me right now, so I'm just gonna go and kind of punch it and stuff. But um, that's that, guys. I sincerely hope you've enjoyed the video. If you have enjoyed it, please give it a thumbs up, give it a like, it helps me out, helps the channel out. If you enjoyed the fact that I have the biggest arms in Europe, then give it a thumbs up as well, and I will see you tomorrow.